Is business architecture dead? Why move to artificial intelligence? Lots of people have been asking me whether I moved away from business architecture since I've been sharing a lot of information on the topic of artificial intelligence. More importantly, current and aspiring business architects want to know if there is a future in business architecture at all. So I thought I'd share my own perspective on why I'm doing what I'm doing. But first hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified of new videos on the topic of architecture and AI that I share out every other week. Please also do check out my website for more stuff. Business architecture is all about understanding how different parts of the business work together to produce value for the customer who is willing to pay for the services or products offered by the business. I have been lucky to work in the areas of business process modeling, business architecture, business strategy, business models, and management consulting for many years to be able to gain an understanding of how business works. Along this journey, I have facilitated one of the largest business transformations in the nation. You might also know that I'm a big fan of taking some of these business ideas and applying it to myself as I continuously transform and reinvent myself. I've also been lucky to help design, architect, code, and deploy large enterprise class software. So I have deep knowledge of software and technology as well. I've been able to put these together, business and technology experiences, to offer something more unique than what a typical business architect would. A foundational principle of business competition is the concept of differentiating your business from others. One way to differentiate is to use the blue ocean strategy to offer something new in the marketplace, such as what Cirque du Soleil did by not being a circus and not being a Broadway show, but offering something in the middle. Another way to differentiate is to do the same things in different ways, like Southwest Airlines does compared to other established players. And that can be shown on a strategy map. Adapting those concepts to myself, I strive to differentiate myself. So some background here. I did a doctorate in artificial intelligence when AI was not so cool. However, many of the concepts that I studied are still the same. And if I bring that background into my current experience, then I can hyper-focus into a narrow space. And since many businesses are now using AI as a tool in their transformation journey, I can differentiate myself. The problem space may be narrow, but as more and more companies are jumping onto the AI bandwagon, there is a dearth of people with experience and expertise in that space. That's not the end of the story for me though. On top of this, I love to simplify complexity. And while AI is nowhere close to brain surgery, it is a complex topic. If I can help simplify that complexity, then I've established an even more unique positioning. Basically, I'm simply taking my education and experiences and positioning myself to help solve one class of problems for businesses. So in a sense, here's what I do. Many companies want to integrate AI for transformation. I help leaders make informed decisions about how to use AI and build strong companies that can thrive in the future by simplifying the complexity. That's my red space. I have chosen to differentiate by deep focus in a crowded marketplace of management consultants and to position myself to offer multiple times value for the same money that a client might spend with a big consulting firm. That's my competitive differentiator when it comes to big consulting firms. That's what I'm doing. And I'm not saying that you as a business architect or an aspiring one should do the same. If you decide to differentiate yourself, there are many ways to do that. Perhaps you bring something unique yourself, such as a particular skill like project management, 
experience in a particular problem domain like supply chain, knowledge about a particular industry like healthcare, or expertise in a particular technology like blockchain. If you combine one or more of these skills with your business architecture background, then you have established a unique value positioning. And when a company has a problem that calls for your unique positioning, then you become the best person to solve that problem. So there is still a great future for business architecture. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing. Appreciate all your support. Thank you very much. Thank you.